Previously on the Engineerable channel, I posted a video about how to replace a dead regular Dyson battery with a double capacity third party battery. So this battery literally has twice the amount of cells and is about two times the thickness. Now this battery works great most of the time. One of the issues that I had initially with this battery that I saw a lot of Amazon reviewers complaining about which is why this battery was getting low reviews, is that the battery doesn't work after you charge it. I found that removing and putting the battery back in would actually solve the problem. You just had to reset it. And I did a little bit of testing to compare the battery voltage when it worked with the battery voltage when it didn't work. And what I noticed is that when the Dyson wouldn't run, the battery voltage was a little bit too high such that the internal electronics in the Dyson did not want to start the motor. And for some reason, unplugging the battery and plugging it back in would reset something and the vacuum would start up just as it should. So with that in mind, I've used this battery for over a year now. So this issue didn't happen after every single recharge. It would only happen every once in a while. So I couldn't keep removing the screws each time and removing the battery every time it happened. That got annoying. So at first I tried to put a Velcro strap around here, but the Velcro strap was too loose and the battery would disconnect while you were using it and reconnect. And so the vacuum would be turning on and off all the time. So then I got a big zip tie, put it around and put some foam here to really pull the battery snug. And it was also something that if it stopped working, I could just easily reset it, remove the battery, put it back in and reset. But not the prettiest thing ever. This still fits in the charging dock just fine, but it doesn't look great and it's kind of a hassle and I'd like to have a better solution. I also wanted to point out the battery from the original video, it's the Enagon battery, which is not being sold on Amazon anymore. Enagon also offered a special charging dock that fit this bigger battery, but they don't sell that anymore either. There are several other batteries that are available on Amazon, double capacity batteries from different brands. And some of the brands actually have much higher reviews than the other brands. So like one of the brands I believe is probably the same as Enagon and the other brand is something better because it has better reviews in terms it doesn't have those reviews about it not working after a few charges. If the screws are removed and you're running the vacuum, the battery doesn't have to pull out very far for the motor to stop. On, off. So I got tired of the foam and zip tie and I designed a better solution. This is a 3D printed battery clip. If you have a 3D printer and you want to make one of these, check down in the description for the file. If you don't have a 3D printer and you want to buy one, check in the description for a link to where I'm selling these so that you can use it on your vacuum. Installing the clip is easy. Just pass it through the handle, open the snap such that they go over the battery, and snap it down over the battery. There you go. And you can see it doesn't pull out when, you're, when I'm pulling on the battery. If I'm running the vacuum, it keeps the battery securely in there, no problems. And there's still plenty of clearance for your hand inside here. And you can still stand the vacuum up on the battery like that. So this is a great solution to the issue of this battery not working after you're charging. This battery no longer has any issues with not working after it's, it was charged. The issues were mainly in the beginning. It was almost like there's a break-in period, which there shouldn't have to be. But there was just some incompatibility between the battery voltage and the circuitry in the Dyson itself. So now if you have any issues with this battery not working, you can just undo the clip like this, spread the snaps apart, take the battery out. You wouldn't even need to pull it out that far. You'd probably only have to pull it out about this far and that's it and push it back in. Now I know what you're asking yourself, but Daniel, does the battery quick release clip still fit on the wall charging dock? And the answer is, Yes, it fits on there just fine. See the blue charging light came on? And this is the double capacity dock that was bought with the double capacity battery. No issues there with the clearance. Another nice feature of this clip is that you can hot swap the batteries really easily. If you have another battery that's an extra large battery like this, you can just take the clip off, pull this battery out, grab your other battery, put it in, put the clip back on, and you're ready to keep vacuuming. If you're going to print one of these clips yourself, you should use a strong material. 
at least ABS, preferably an ABS blend like ABS PC or a nylon material. I also designed a smaller clip that works with the regular Dyson battery so that you can quickly hot swap between the larger battery and the smaller battery. This clip securely grabs onto the smaller battery, doesn't allow it to get pulled out, works just fine. Again, if you want to either 3D print or buy one of these clips from us, check down in the description for the links for the files or where to buy these clips.